Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. I'm starting my solar array, as you can tell. And I looked up the ideal ratio. It's 0.84 accumulators per solar panel. So if I have 100, I need 84 of these. I only have 34 right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out separately the solar panels versus the accumulators. I'll have like a solar panel array and then an accumulator array. And I'm going to use a tessellating pattern with medium power poles. Um, you'll see. I like this pattern. It, it, it makes me happy. So we're going to go down here behind the copper and start it off. So this is the way it works. We put a medium power pole in the middle. And I don't like, by the way, um, the So, four, four of these, I want to do five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, I better get out of the square here. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's a hundred right there. It's all of a hundred. No, I want this one. That's a hundred. Um, it's not connected up to anything. There. Hello, solar panels. We're making electricity. So this is 100. My robot distance. So that's about one quarter. So let's build a robo bait, robo port. I need some steel. Because what I want to do is basically have like a linear. So I can build train tracks, have robo ports on the side and then just load up some chests and then move it down. Um, I want some steel. That's what I want. I want to build some rubble ports. Did I just pick up a bunch of stone? I can't have one. There we go. There's one. See how far these rubble ports go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. So these guys go a lot further. Let's uh Okay. And then we can take that blueprint. Hmm. There's solar. It doesn't even compare yet. We're missing 133 panels. I don't know if I like this. I don't like this. No, don't like. Eh. Stop. I want a linear design. I don't want this weird tessellation that maximizes floor space. Maybe I will use these substations. They're so ridiculously expensive, though. Let's make one. I need lights. I can't see anything. Oh, thank you for picking up that rock for me. So we'll throw the accumulators in the middle. Do I have accumulators? I have a couple. Let's go get some more.
Okay, that's getting more like what I expect to see. Let's actually go through and let's convert, not the steel, the circuits. To blue's last one. This is all the inserted stack bonus. Would you stop messing around, please? All the way back with these blue belts. If I need to, I might need to upgrade these guys and make some more copper. But I would prefer to do that offline or out of the base here. So we picked up. Okay, there we go. Now we're saturating, we're flooding our green circuits there. Our steel is just not quite keeping up. That's okay. Batteries are having problems. That's because my battery production is low. I can make some more. Let's make six more these guys which means I need steel yeah let's just go let's go set up the power okay my idea is that I can have I can ride a train to a stop I can lay the stop down and then it'll I can build the robo ports and the robo ports will so the idea and let me let me just kind of walk through this so we're gonna have like a train track like this and then we're gonna have a stop right and if I had stops, I do have stops. So, and this one will be called like solar one, like there'll be like several branches of solar. Then a train will pull up to the stop, right? And it will, and then I'll, I'll, I'll ride the train. My robots will set up the initial buffer, right? The boxes and stuff like that, uh, which will like lay down some, um, some boxes of stuff. So I basically need to have like room for boxes. So, and it'll be like full. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, then we have robo ports that it builds. And the robo ports can be built all the way out here like this. Okay, we're gonna have I don't know what we're going to do. Then we'll have accumulators, I guess. Hmm, maybe not. We'll fill that in with solar panels.
Why isn't it charging the accumulators? Oh, I see. That guy was taking up too much power. that. Something like that maybe. please. So I have I'll have to wait till daytime I think. Let's go get um let's go make some more of those uh Those uh, advanced. I just need steel, basically. Let's make three more of them. Maybe more if I can make it work. My steel factory is not at 100% because it doesn't have 100% ore coming in. So I do need more ore. I don't think this is enough accumulators, is it? Yeah, those ones never get charged. Um, let's, let's see what it says. It says we have... Uh, how many do we have? It won't tell me how many I have. Oh, this one won't. This one will. It says in each one of these squares we have 36 and 16. Oh, 16 divided by 36. This is point 16 divided by 36. It's point 0.44. I think 48 is the magic number. Point eight three seven five. That's that's what it is. Eight three seven five. Ha! Huh. Okay. What if I did this instead? Well, let's tear everything down. I feel like I've done this before several hundred times. It's been a while though. Okay, so one to one, huh?
Hmm. What if I had two designs? One design uses solar panels completely. kind of a windmill shape like that. And then the other design did all accumulators. one, see how this would tessellate. They're not going to connect, are they? So we need to connect somehow. That's not going to do it either. I'm back to tessellation. Forty-eight accumulators, and let's do the tessellation for the uh, solar panels as well. That's interesting. That doesn't work, but it's interesting. <sighs> okay, that one's all done. Let's just start knocking the rest of these out. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, let's try this. So we go simple tessellation pattern and let me take that and they tessellate at different angles so that is very I'll show you what I mean they're gonna collide here They test light at different angles. Yeah, I can't fit through. Okay, just forget this. Let's just let's just forget trying to optimize space. Let's just forget it. So we're just gonna go bam, 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 bam. How far can these guys go apart? They don't connect, they're too far apart. So a 
Yeah. Okay. And then... Since we need a one-to-one -one ratio, let's just do it. We're going to focus on this group right here. So that's three groups of three. Oh, well, we need a second one, don't we? In order to make it even. There we go. So we're going to take these accumulators. Okay, so how many is that? That's 18 of those. And that is 12 of those. We need six more. All right. That is a unit. And that is tileable. A square tileable. Everything connects up. If I leave a space, they won't connect up. I have to bring them all the way together. Hundred and eight and ninety six. That's not what I want. I want them to be even. Are we missing? Nope. That's what it is. 108 to 96. I miscounted. 108 to 108. Does that mean six are already charged? What are they just not connected? Oh, I see. So, why only 96? Hundred and eight to hundred and eight. I don't know what it's complaining about. Everything's connected to each other as far as I can see. Hundred and eight solar panels. Hundred and why does it only say ninety six? I don't know. Let's put some power let's put a power drain on here. Um, let's put this uh, robo port on there. Probably should wait till night time. Oh wait, some of these are not. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh -huh. So some of these guys aren't even connected. Yes, my pattern is terrible. My pattern is terrible. Next research, let's do this. So I can't do that. Hmm. Next one would be right here. Did 
that that would work. I don't need so many on this side, just on this side. Okay, let's go and delete that all. No, I don't want that, I want this. Oh, I see. I picked up the big power pole, too. All right, now we should have 108 and 108. Why does it say 72? Because only 72 are charged. Let's wait till daytime and see what happens. Okay, they're charging now. Still says only 72. I did something wrong. Eighteen and eighteen. Eighteen times six is seventy-two. Oh yeah, seventy-two, seventy-two, that's right. So now I just need to figure out how to automate this. Let's put my robo port down. Medium power pole or something like that. Squeeze the robo port all the way up here. Let's put my construction bots in there. And we need some chests. I need uh, some chests, supplier chests. I don't have any steel. We're going to build a pattern where they go out to the maximum range. Yeah, we're still short on steel. We're using all that steel. Okay. Um... Okay. Well, you're all done, aren't you? I don't know why I did that. Whatever, so. Okay, so. We take that pattern. We can't go out that far. That's too far. That's a limit. that far either. Maybe if we adjusted 
the RoboPort a little bit. That's right, those are just blueprints. too far away. So we probably need something like that. Then we can put down some more blueprints. There, and that's gonna be one blueprint. Then we're gonna build the train to pull up right next to it and stop. Uh, it's gonna be a one four. So. doing I'm gonna have yellow chests anymore I need four of them don't I actually three I think is all I need really need so this one will be like medium power poles I don't have any medium power poles so if I put a medium power pole in here and then we have solar panels and accumulators and they would just go and lay it all down some medium power poles. I need some more iron. I'm so short on steel. We're using so much steel, it's insane. Why does it use so much steel? Are you done? You are. Congratulations. Let's drop off these yellow belts and these red belts. Let's go drop these off. They're both stacks of 50, okay. Can get to work. There we go. We've connected the two power supplies now, and we should see some magic happen. What are they missing now? They're missing. 56, let's get some robots. Let's make like 100 construction robots and then get some more stuff. Oh, I need some medium power poles too. some green circuits.
and pick up some more of that stuff. Oh, where am I going? Oh, they need the... I forgot to make the medium power pulse. Oh, these guys aren't being built, huh? All right, let's go get some more steel. I, I, I've got to fix my steel problems here. Steel is just pathetic. Not a copper. Luckily, there's copper down where I'm going. So we're going to have three train cars with medium power poles and stuff. Well, that's not in a RoboPort range, is it? I don't know. Maybe we'll have filter inserters or something. And we'll just have lanes going down like this. I'm not going to go like too deep or anything like that. We're out of medium power poles, aren't we? And then we'll just drop off a bunch. I'll use my uh, my pattern to get it started on the tracks. But uh, that's what I'll do. Go up with the train, dump it all off. I don't know how to not drop off too much. Maybe what I'll do is come back and unload it the other way. So the pattern uses... Um, let's go and store that really quick. 5 to 18 to 18. So it, it doesn't need so many um, medium power poles. It's not too bad. It's just, I, I'm really hungry for steel right now in my factory. Oh, cool. Let me just finish that off, that little array, that prototype array. We'll do both sides. We'll do both sides too. That's what I gotta remember. Both sides. Okay, have some more medium power poles. He only needed 11 more. All right.
So these guys can do max of 60. I have 378. These guys can do 900 kilowatts. So I'm going to need like a lot more just to get to where I'm at. So 900 times 120. Um, that's 1.08 gigawatts max there divided by 60. So I'll need 1,800 solar panels just to keep up with the production that I have right now. I don't know, maybe nuclear makes sense. Maybe nuclear power does. All right, I think that's it for that episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye-bye.